What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to help you win another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. This week we have Off the Beaten Track. It is a dirt racing event for off-road vehicles tuned to be spec. Now right away the uh, truck I decided to ultimately go with is a 2020 Ford number 2069 Ford Performance Bronco R. I made a tune for it, I'll show it on the screen right now, along with the share code. It is called B700 Dirt Racing. This thing is very, very good. Uh, when this game first came out, I believe you get this car like for free pretty early on in the campaign. I don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty certain everybody should have it. Uh, but I remember when like we had a it was a B700 off-road cross-country event, and I was completely bashing this thing. I said it was too slow, uh, like it handled really well, but it was too slow. That's because I was using the stock engine, and I had the max weight reduction. If you completely ignore the max, uh, the weight reduction uh, option and put the 8.4 liter V10 engine in it this thing is actually pretty good it accelerates really well speeds not the greatest but still it's overall it's very very good uh what i did to this i just took my b700 off-road tune and i just lowered it a little bit it's, i think that's all i changed and maybe messed with the gearing just a touch but uh this thing very very good uh it's a lot better than i thought it was originally i probably would have used this back for that cross country event as well but it's fine the uh, the Raptor or the Ranger T6 is what I used before for the cross country, and it's also okay for dirt racing. Uh, I, I initially tried to use that, but it just wasn't really quite up to snuff. It wasn't really good enough, so I ended up uh, kind of throwing an audible here and trying to and tried to use the Ford Performance Bronco R, and I think it paid dividends. Very very competitive in this event. Uh, a lot of people are going to be using some configuration of this or the Porsche Macan Rally Raid, which is also decent. I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, but uh, it seemed to be pretty good. I had a guy in my team that was like right on my tail. He was using it, so it seemed to be uh, it seemed to be pretty decent. Uh, I've also seen a lot of people using the Mini X Raid. I'm assuming that's like the rental car you can use, because it's always 632 stock, so I'm assuming that's the, that's the rental most people are going to use. If you can get that to 700, it might be okay. I'd probably stay away from the Mini x ray it's just, it seems like it's too big and kind of handles weird, I would, wouldn't recommend that at all. I would definitely go with the Ford Performance Bronco R, by far I think it's the best one to use, and the Macan and the Ranger T6 Rally Raid are just, just behind it. Uh, like I said though, it's, very, it's a very interesting event, very fun event, I actually enjoy doing this a lot. If you don't get paired up with teammates that slam you into the wall, uh, it's actually pretty fun. You get into a nice rhythm in the circuit, the first race, a scramble, you can actually put down some pretty good lap times once you get into that rhythm and get past the AI and get past the teammates that want to kill you. Race two, as long as you don't get slammed into that, uh, slammed into the wall in that first turn, get out in front, smooth sailing from there. Very, very fun. I, I enjoy dirt racing, it's my favorite kind of racing in these games. And doing it with a big off-road machine. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, if you win, you get the Porsche 911 Desert Flyer, which a lot of people probably already have that. We had a dedicated trial event for that as part of the stock showdown fiasco a few months ago, and uh, everybody should have it, but if not, you get it. Uh, that's, you're not going to see it at the end of the video. Usually, I stop the video right when it shows the reward, but actually, this is my second completion of this event. I wasn't really satisfied with how the first one turned out. I won both races, but it was just really, really sloppy, so I kind of decided to take another stab at it. Uh, it's worth mentioning with my tune uh, you can definitely get a little bit more power out of it if you take the like the bracing brakes off and go back to stock brakes you have three extra points you can kind of throw that towards something I'm sure with the with an engine component you can probably put like uh, brace valves something like that on it get a few more horsepower out of it but uh, I, I really like the brakes because they bite really hard and it's very very easy you can just like tap the brake and it downshifts pretty easily, so it's very, very responsive. That's one reason why I wanted to keep the race brakes on. Um, like I said, though, I have that V10 engine swap, which oddly enough to me sounds like a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. I don't know. At least like the one, the way they sound in games, like uh, rally games and that sort of thing. It's what it sounds like to me. It's kind of strange because it's a turbocharged four-cylinder, but the engine I'm comparing it to is a V10, but it's, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But uh, I, have, I have that. Um, six-speed trans, race transmission, uh, not really a whole lot else really change about this thing. Can't really add a whole lot more to it. There's only like one tire by default, and I 
have that one obviously the, the, the some some sort of off-road tire uh, let's see I have race pistons I have the race engine block I man it's just little things you can kind of make it your own you can kind of take things off add things and kind of tweak it how you like it but I think it's a very very good platform for this event let me know down in the comments what worked for you if you gave the Bronco a try let me know how the tune you used compared to mine or if it was mine and you had success with it I'd love to hear about it if you need any help with these trials you can message me on xbox or you can hop into my discord servers in the description i'll also show the share code for the tune in the description as well if you missed it earlier on have fun getting all these seasonal events done this week and i'll see you next week for another trial video